They're back! Oh my god, I can't believe I'm even saying this, but Cody and his sister wives are coming back on February freaking 14. What seems like we're at like, I don't even know, season 100? But no, we are at season 15, which is crazy for any show. But yeah, the Sister Wives group, they are coming back and I don't even know where to start. We got to see a little bit of an itty bitty trailer for the new season. And this is what we are expecting to see. I have a couple little spoiler tidbits here and there, but oh my God, surprisingly, I'm kind of actually excited. So this is what we're going to see. Number one, we got to talk about Cody and Mary and what in God's name is going on. So many if you guys ask me all the time, are they still together? Have they broken up? What is the deal? Legally, they're not even really still together. But anyway, we now know from this trailer and kind of from a little bit of a spoiler from Mary that they are in Mary's words, trying to make it work. However, we got to see Cody and Mary go on a date. They were talking and oh my God, if I was Mary, I'd be number one, completely humiliated. And number two, I would never want to talk to Cody again. We got to see them go on a date. And Cody said one thing. Number one, he said, you know, people that are in love do things like they be together in a romantic fashion and things like that. And he was basically implying that because they are not in love, they don't do those kinds of things. And then Mary was like, well, what would you do if I just gave you a big old, you know, smooch right now? What would you do? And Cody was like, um, I don't know. Like he basically, he had no interest. So he pretty much, as far as I could just take it, he just told her, you know, we're not in love. And number two, I don't even really want any affection or romance with you. And even during that little date, we got to see in the little sneak peek, he seemed uncomfortable. He didn't seem like he wanted to be there. And it's just like, Cody, why are you trying to save this thing? I feel like Mary, and at least according to Mary's post, she's open to giving it a shot. But it's like, Cody, you don't seem interested. But the dumb thing that I have with Cody is when anyone ever asks Cody about his relationship with Mary, he's always like, we're going to make this work. We're going to, you know, but it's like, Cody, your actions don't speak at all to what you're talking about. In real, in reality, he's like, has no interest in her, but he has all these big words like he, they're going to make it work. And so it's just, I'm kind of sick and tired of Cody. And I feel like he's being a complete and total hypocrite, but definitely make sure to comment below what you think of Cody and Mary. And if you have no idea what, what post I'm talking about in the beginning of December, it's so not even that long ago, what, a month and a half ago, Mary posted boom right there, right? this a post with Cody and in the caption it says let's just clarify something here I love this man I don't owe anyone an explanation but I'll do it anyway I'm well aware that we as a family have chosen to put ourselves out there which in turn brings about all kinds of speculation commentary and opinions but it comes down to this my relationship with him is my relationship with him sure we've had ups and downs through the years I mean isn't that somewhat normal highs high you know high highs and low lows, all of which you get to see some of and speculate on. And that's okay. You do you, boo. But here's my truth. I love him. I love my family. I'm committed. I have 30 years in this. We struggle. We communicate. We repair relationships as the parties involved are willing and able. I'm an independent person who does her own thing. I travel a lot. I have multiple businesses. I have many friends. I have male friends. Gasp, shocker. And I won't apologize for that. I'm human. I have feelings. I make mistakes. I rise when I've fallen. Sometimes it takes longer than other times to rise. I will always rise. I get angry. I feel peace. I feel pain. I feel joy. I forgive. I love. I'm human. I'm here. I'm committed. I'm not going anywhere. Don't get your hopes up. I love that ending. Don't get your hopes up. But anyway, that was her post. She shared it at the beginning of December. And honestly, that pretty much told me nothing. I think that post pretty much just tells me they're going to work on it, which that just basically says that means next to nothing. I mean, likely what'll probably happen is they'll still be in a relationship and she'll still be kind of in the middle of their sister wife family. But like she just said, she's independent. She's doing her own thing. She's constantly traveling. And I kind of just think she won't be too terribly involved. But I think on the surface and on the show, they'll at least attempt to make it look like they're working on somewhat of a relationship. The big thing for me with Mary is just why is she not run? Why is she still with this idiot? I think Cody is a babbling idiot. 
kind of like me, but I think I'm even less of an idiot. I really don't think I'm as dumb as Cody. Cody is freaking a moron. So it's like, well, Mary seems smart. Why is she still with this guy? So I don't know. It sounds like they're trying to kind of make it work, but from what we saw with the actions of Cody on the little trailer sneak peek of the new season of Sister Wives, it did not look like they were really making much of an effort. It didn't, it didn't look like he was making an effort. She was trying, but it didn't look like he was, really. But definitely comment below what y'all think. And for the rest of the season, there's one, a couple other little things that kind of caught my eye. Number one, um, okay, the stay-at-home order, the pandemic, this was all caught on video. And when you really think about it, if there is one freaking person in this world who cannot quarantine and stay at a single home for longer than like a week is, drum roll, please, Cody freaking Brown. Because the guy's bouncing around at all. I mean, he, he's probably bouncing around a couple times a week. He's never staying in the same house. And it's like, I mean, what would he do? So we got to see a snippet of that. I feel like that was kind of interesting for me because it kind of shows, oh, buddy, um, this is really going to kind of show who Cody plays favorites for and all that kind of jazz. And that was kind of exciting. That kind of caught my eye because it's like, geez, he, you know, it's really going to show Cody. Now, Cody could act like I'm just going to stay at Robin's because I've been with Robin or something stupid. But I already know he's not going to quarantine with Janelle because we saw a little snippet where Janelle was like, I don't even want him over here because the guy's constantly going around. So I think that's going to be very interesting. I'm curious to see how that plays out. But if there's one guy that cannot quarantine and probably is going to be very difficult to quarantine, that is Cody Brown. And we also got to hear some money problems. Cody was basically just saying they're trying to sell some of their land and they're still broke. And he was saying even when they do sell their land, they're still going to be broke. I have said this one million billion times. I do not get it for the life of me. How do these people not have any money? Um, they get paid to be on this show. This is their 15th freaking season. I don't give a crap what anyone says. If you have 15 seasons of a show on TLC, you're getting at least, I mean, just at bare minimum, 30, 40, $50,000 per episode. I can guarantee you. And to be completely honest, you're probably, if you're Cody Brown, you're probably getting more. I mean, he, and it's like every year they have a new season. The guy has to have some money and they might even be getting some money off of the replays. Not sure how that works, but I mean, there's some shows where they get $100,000 an episode, like the Jersey Shores of the world and things of that nature and Cake Boss and things like that. Okay, Sister Wives has been on just as long, if not longer than some of those shows. They're getting a ton of money. So I don't know why or how they're broke, but the trailer started off with Cody saying, we, we're still broke. We still don't have any money. And it's like, how? But they're going to try to sell some of their land, I guess. And then that is when we kind of got to see Christine say, I don't want to be in Arizona. I don't want to be in Flagstaff. I want to go back to Utah. And of course, what did her loving, caring husband say? No, he freaked out. He did. This is my problem with Cody. It's just he's constantly screaming back and forth with all these ladies. He's kind of the one starting the drama half the time. He can't ever have a normal response and he can't ever agree or compromise. It's always his way or the freaking highway. So we got to see Christine be really upset. Last season, it was more Mary. This season, it looks like it's really Christine. And she even said in the preview, I can't be married to Cody anymore. And I'm done with this relationship. And now it's like, do I think that's actually going to happen? Probably not. I doubt she's going to leave him. I doubt any of that kind of stuff's going to happen. But, but, but you never do know. With as crazy as Cody has been, I am not. I mean, it's a shocking situation. Very odd that the I'm honestly still together this long, Mary and Christine with Cody. It is kind of shocking. Definitely make sure to comment below what you guys think is going to happen. And while we're talking about Christine, that kind of leads us into the other wife, and that would be Robin, because we got to see Christine and Robin have an incredibly uncomfortable conversation about Cody and actually their relationship as sister wives and how they basically just cannot stand each other. And I'm kind of more, a little bit more team Christine, kind of, with Robin. I think Robin's pretty judged g too, honestly. So I'm kind of leaning more with Christine, but Christine was like, look, we don't have to be friends. We don't have to get along. And it was just incredibly awkward, very weird. For some reason, Cody wants all these ladies to be BFF. So it's just kind of weird, kind of awkward. And for the rest of Robin, she's kind of in the middle juggling this stuff too. I think there's going to be a lot of fighting. I think Cody, uh, you know, sometimes I feel like he sides with Robin. Sometimes I feel like he kind of doesn't. I don't know. I think that's probably his favorite wife. And I think she's just kind of rude and weird. It's just a very, very, very bizarre relationship with Robin, but she will definitely, I am 
am confident will be on there and will be judging everyone, will be very annoying, and I am confident she'll be making, she'll be, you know, doing a lot of talking and bad mouthing. And then we have Janelle, who kind of keeps to herself. Janelle is just like Christine and Mary though. It's like, why are you still with Cody? You've been with him forever. You don't even seem like you're even married to the guy. I feel like Janelle, if anyone, even including Mary, is the odd one out. And she is just kind of there just for the friend, you know, just because she wants that family. But it's like, she's not even really practically married and in a real romantic relationship with Cody. It does not seem like it. Like, I feel like she's just kind of there for the show and because of her kids and all that kind of stuff and just to kind of be there. So yeah, Janelle seemed quiet. She was the one that said that she will not be letting Cody into the house during the quarantine stay at home order, which is kind of interesting. But yeah, I have a hunch it's going to be the season of Mary and Cody trying to work things out, which is just stupid. And I think we're also going to kind of see Christine kind of try to get some separation distance from everyone else. And of course, Cody is still talking about the one big gigantic house. But I really feel like Mary and Christine are going to be kind of the main events and Cody will be plastered in there too. And let me just say, I don't I don't hate Cody, I just don't find the guy very, I don't he's not really honest, he's kind of negative, he's always complaining, he's always screaming, he's always starting drama, it's like, what is he, what is his problem, and he even said it in the trailer, it's like, it's like, is it the ladies or is it me that started this drama? Because he's even starting to kind of realize he's always the one starting the freaking drama and it's always his issues and he never agrees with anyone. So I'm kind of just in a weird feeling about Cody. I'm honestly completely freaking shocked that Sister Wives is still going on. And it's like, they, they really had a lot of time to film this footage for this new season, but it's like, man, 15 seasons? This might be the last one, honestly, just ended on 15, because what other drama and crap can, I mean, it's like nothing ever happens. In the last season, very little actually ever happened. They got kicked out of some rental houses and things like that, but nothing too spectacularly crazy really happened, and we have not seen anything too amazing happen in the show in years and years and years, so I'm honestly shocked that it's even still on. But hey, if, you know, 15 seasons, apparently someone's watching it, so if y'all are planning on watching it, it is going to be on February 14th, which is also Valentine's Day, and Sunday at 9 o'clock Central, 10 o'clock Eastern, right after yours favorite, 90 Fiance, so I think it'll be good. I'll watch my Day fiance, I'll watch Sister Wives, nah, whatever. I'll probably talk about it if y'all want, if something good and entertaining happens, but if it's just a stupid blab, babble, crap back and forth, I probably won't even say a word, but definitely put in the comments below if you're going to watch Sister Wives, if you want me to talk about it, I will, I'm going to watch it, I don't know, we'll see. I'll watch a couple episodes, if it sucks, I'll probably just stop, but if it's good, I might continue to watch it. I am curious to see how all the stay at home stuff plays out with Cody and his crazy old family. Well guys, Thank you all so much for watching. Oh my God, I almost forgot. Today is Friday, which y'all already know what that means. Um, we have Love After Lockup on, and I saw a little snippet of Love After Lockup last night. It was a little preview. It's looking very good, so I am so, 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 so excited. And I don't know if we're reaching like a season finale because I feel like there's a new season kind of coming out. It's really weird how they're doing it. It's almost like it's a part one, part two, because some of the couples, like um, that one idiot, um, Lindsay and Scott T. Bradshaw, they are not gonna be on this new little season. I think I think they're just done they're done filming. It looks like Scott threw her in jail and they're obviously they're not filming anymore. So it's like some of the other couples from the last season of Love to Lockup kind of come on. Looks kind of interesting. I am terribly excited, so definitely we're all gonna have to watch that. And that is on Wii TV tonight at what, nine central? No, 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 eight, eight, yeah, eight, definitely eight. Eight central tonight on Wii TV. Well, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, it'd mean the world to me. If you could hit that like button, comment below your thoughts, hit the subscribe button, and y'all all about better stay tuned for many more videos.